hair cancer so i'm here to do the february generals for yourselves i'll be back this weekend to do the full moon readings um, and I'll be back in the month to do the Valentine's and things like that. And um, these are the ones that I'm doing tonight. Will be extended readings, so you can find that in the Patreon link in the description box below. So if you hit the arrow or hit the more, um, that will all drop down. Also, my social media links are there to so Instagram and Facebook. I don't send friend requests. I can't do that from my business page. So if you get a friend request from Divine Legada, with love, it's not me. 100% it is not me um you can only just like the page or follow it whatever it is i just post jargon on there and my videos and things uh so yeah feel free to follow me on social media my website is also in the description box below for readings and things um so i'm gonna be diving straight in cancer for february what's going on Nine of Swords in reverse. It's like you're coming out of some kind of, maybe, I wouldn't say hellhole then. <laughs> so maybe things have been really hard. Um, but it's like nightmare situation or um, a town where you were feeling like, you know, sleepless nights, couldn't settle, you know, that's happening. Anxiety or feeling down um, or overwhelmed with your own thoughts. So... The situation that's coming up now is the Knight of Cups, your energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The Knight of Cups brings like emotional offers. Um, so it could be you putting out there an emotional offer or someone bringing an emotional offer towards you. But it is an offer that makes you emotionally happy. What's crossing that energy is the Eight of Swords in reverse. See, your hands are no longer tied. So you're not bound to something. And I feel like it's whatever was giving you that energy when you were in reverse you know the sleepless nights when you're feeling down when you're isolating yourself that type of energy um your hands are no longer tired so that's the crossing energy so i feel like you can accept offers certain offers whatever it is uh it's a general reading i'm reading for the collective so take it as it resonates but it's almost like where you once felt bound you're, you're free from that and you're free from the anxiety that came with it why is it coming right now we've got the four of cups in reverse so you're coming out of a period of lack as well so the four of cups upright it's like he's seeing things that he's got in front of him he's not seeing the blessings that are coming in um it's boredom it, it, it's you know discontent but you've come out of that energy now so i feel like you can step forward and offer your cup or take someone's offering of a cup you know that type of uh energy in the recent past we've got the queen of swords gemini libra aquarius energy there but the queen of swords is that energy of freedom she cuts cords you know and she is willing to say no she will stand her ground you know people call her the ice queen but she's had to be that way because of certain things that have gone on in the past um she's very she puts her heart behind behind bars basically um so she can see things so logically and any red flags or anything like that it's gone so i feel like you've had to do that and now it's like you can open back up to your emotions i feel like you've had to lock your emotions away or you felt like you've had to lock them away and it got too much up here um too many thoughts too many emotions that type of thing but at present we've got the ace of cups so i like this it's like you're you're allowed to get out of your head now and you're back in your element the ace of cups when i've got a harp in my head then i didn't hear it i, I saw it you know like the playing harp <laughs> um i should have done it that way I? I got a harp in my head so i don't know if that means anything music music might be the key to something at the moment or you may be opening yourself up with music um but the ace of cups you know life could be music at the moment music may be, play a big part in your life um but the ace of cups is love and it's it's the divine's way of saying like we want your cup to run off over with love now you know with happiness emotional fulfillment they want you to be happy 
and you want to be happy now you know i feel like spirit are keeping an eye on you so that you don't have to go back into that you don't have to go back into that like feeling like you have to defend yourself or be careful and watch your back you know that type of energy because going forward we've got the hermit which is virgo energy and again you've got this energy of being guided by spirit someone keeping their eye over you um it could be an elder it, it could be um a family member but it is that guard and you may feel like you want to take some time out of whatever it is, you know, life in general, the rat race, you know, relationships, that type of thing, with the hermit and kind of grow emotionally because you've come out of this energy. So it's like where you've had to say no or you've had to, like, cut cords um, and see things for what they are. Now you don't have to. The Queen of Swords is really good at reading between the lines. And I feel like you've had a, a lesson in that. Reading between the lines and people say things and mean one thing and, you know, all that type of thing. And I feel like you're coming out of that energy now. And it's time to kind of work on you. There could be some kind of, like, studying coming up, self-study, you know, self-mastery, that type of thing. I don't know why I wanted to say mastery. So someone, when we're saying study and mastery, it could be like someone could be who's watching this could be going on to do the masters, um, you know, uni or college, whatever it is that they, they do it at. Um, so your power now is this fresh start, the full card. It's starting back at zero and that's a power in itself because it's like you can be happy again. You're allowed to be happy and free and do what you want and the Pisces energy was right like being free as well so there could be something in the water I haven't known Scorpio yet but it could be a running thing about freedom with the water signs at the moment but your energy is saying that as well being free from certain situations and being able to take that leap of faith where you want now it's no longer a risk to take a leap of faith the outside influence to that is the three of wands. See, it could you could be pushing the boat out. You could be like, do you know what? I'm not just going to take a leap. I am going to take a giant like stride. I'm going to push myself forward. There could be travel. There could be distance. That type of thing. But the three of wands is kind of knowing that what's meant for you is never going to pass you by. And I feel like you're kind of back on that track. So whatever kind of led you off track in the past... It's like, no, I know it's out there for me. I know my dream is there. And that's where I'm going to get to. Hopes or fears, tower in reverse. That you don't have to go through that anymore. That you've been through the towers. You've been through the hard times. Scorpio energy there with the tower. I really feel like you're going to get it because your outcome is the four of pentacles in reverse. Being able to drop it and let go of. You know, I like that. Some of my can some of my cancerians are looking for down payments or putting down payments to something. And I feel like it's for the future. So you could be putting something down for something, like making sure it's yours. Let's have a look. The Hierophant, Taurus energy there, but the Hierophant is about being divinely guarded, it's being committed, committed to a person, committed to yourself, committed to a journey. You know, he does like kind of marry people and things like that. But I feel like I feel like you're being given the keys to be committed to your journey. I feel like there's a journey coming in. Yeah, see, with that nine of swords, it's like you've been in a nightmarish situation, all up in your head, too much in a in like a funk. But things are get, getting better now. You're in that ace of cups energy now. We've got the lovers, Gemini energy there, and. Yet, yeah, within a relationship, you know, the love could be rekindling, that type of thing. But I feel like it's more love for yourself. And again, when I was saying, like, you've got the eye watching you from spirit. In the lover's card, we've got spirit watching, like, looking upon you. I feel like you are being, like, divinely protected at the moment. So then you can move forward. The S of Wands coming forward, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries energy. Advancement, it could be career advancement. But it's life changing. So this is like, I'm going to study, I'm going to get my head down, I'm going to be guarded to where I need to make the changes for my life. It, I feel like this energy here was a massive lesson. 
massive. What are you letting go of? Queen of Wands in reverse. The Queen of Wands in reverse is not a nice energy. It is fire, Sagittarius Leo, Aries. But the Queen of Wands is... In reverse, you can be quite nasty, very manipulative. It can even be, you know, like... Don't like saying it, but you know, like black magic and stuff. But we cast spells when we speak. So we should always be careful with our words because, you know, there's a reason we spell them. It's magic. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But I feel that's what you're being protected against. You don't have to worry about the past. You're being protected. And, you know, it's like you're staying grounded from the past now. If someone's been nasty to you, especially with words, you know, do not accept. Do not accept those words because you're going on to better things now. It's like, I wanted to say, like, cut the cloth then. I don't know what I even know what that means. But I'm going to go into the extended and see how much more I can get. Okay? Bye.